Okay. Your spiritual gifts aren't your family's business. It's not your friend's business. The only time you... The only person you share your gifts with is your children or your husband. But it has to be your husband that your spirit team had chose for you, not somebody that you want and wish and hope to be your husband because you want a husband. It is nobody's, you know, unless you, and also you're like, if you're doing like client work or something like that, then yeah, absolutely. Like people you're who are sent for you to help, absolutely. But like, it's not everybody's business that. Talking about your do when you're doing spiritual work and talking about your spiritual gifts would be the same as if you were working like being a doctor, right? I say you a doctor and you have your family, but you know your family didn't go to to, to medical school, school or nothing like that, so you're not gonna talk to them in the same jargon and the same language that you did in school amongst your classmates and things like that, right? Like. When a, when a patient comes to you, you'll be able to use certain languages that you're not going to use in a conversation with your parents, a conversation with your cousin or something like that, right? You feel me? Um, unless they too were, was in that field. But if not, you're not going to, that's not the thing y'all going to talk about. And so... Country men don't really be frolicking and having all these conversations with women like that. I noticed that, like, country men don't be talking to women like that. It be the city boys that 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 talk that have conversations with women like that. Like, I think that country on did it scare you? I think that country. This is think probably. <laughs> No word. Anyway, so country people, country men don't really be, they say, hey, they acknowledge your presence, but they don't be having like, they don't be just kicking in with a woman unless it's like a wife or something. And even then, they really just keep, they keep, they, they talk to men. And if they if it's with the woman, they make they make love and they make connection with a woman, but they they have conversations with the man. Yeah, at the Getty, there was this photography series there, and this exhibit, and it just it showed these pictures series of this black lady and her husband, and she was smart, and she went to college. And so everywhere she went, she would like argue. She wanted to argue with a man. She wanted to like debate instead of just letting the man win. She wanted she had to win. Like the the school system, her intellect, her intellect, and like having to kind of prove herself in the, in the corporate world ruined her marriage because her husband was kind of like, "Can you just relax? Can you just chill out?" Um, a woman, he had those traditional values of, like, a woman should be seen and not heard type of thing, right? So, if you date a southern man as a girl from the city, as a girl who is usually, you know, um, having to see men as their equal because that's the city life, right? The city working. Uh, you work in the city, you talk to men, you just have a conversation with men, right? Like you could, in the city, you could talk, just have a, a full-blown conversation with a man. And you know he kind of flirting with you, but you could just have a conversation, right? At different ages, whatever. It just depends on how social you want to be and what the conversation is. Um, that same comfortability 
that a woman has with the city man, she could talk shit. She could cuss. She'd be like, the fuck, nigga? No, blah, 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 right? She could kiki. She could shoot the breeze with a city dude. But a man who's Christian and, or just a man who's, who's country and traditional, it could be a clash. Um, and a, a culture shock because he's like, I'm raised by women who shut the fuck up, right? Who shut the fuck up? And they don't be in men's faces like that. And if they are seeing the men's faces like that, then that means that they, um, they a prostitute, they a hoe, right? The, that's my grandma and them, their mentality is you don't be up in the man face like that. You don't keep key and chat with a man like that, right? And if you are, it's because you want to, to give it up, right? Um, but in the city, we go to school with the boys. We do the job. We have a guy friends. You work with them. You know, you don't know what type of job you have. Like, the city, whatever, whatever, right? Like, you're used to being intermingled with men. So that country living is totally different, right? Um, so those are things to keep in mind if you're going to be a city girl dating a country boy. If you want to date in the South. You want to date, you want you a traditional man. Those are the things. Whereas out here, the other part of it is that, I don't know. It's just, you got to get used, you have to be used to your nigga having female friends. <laughs> you know, and you got to be friends with the bitches. And show them that you're not insecure by liking them. <laughs> You feel me? But with a country man, you ain't got to worry about, like, those female besties. Um, if they're talking to a woman, it's usually because it's a affair. Unless it's like... No, that's really good. Correct me if I'm wrong. But that is how I see it. Like a country man can be up in women's faces if he a dog. But that will be his reputation. But A city man can't be all up in a woman's face. He just find a, a way of low-key talking at him. And that's why they be, that's why they be doing the fucking most. <laughs> the windows be tinted, be all dark, they be leaning back, you gotta talk to him out, out the fucking passenger seat and shit. You know, just doing the most. He whispering, you can barely hear his ass and shit. You know, you know like, well, nigga, <laughs> I, I can't fucking hear you. <laughs> You know, like, I be so irritated. I'm like, why y'all talk so low? Maybe talking so low. Hey, nigga. <laughs> Wait, like, I'm trying to say, what you say? Like, I'm irritated. Like, <laughs> give me a, I blast, head, like, I play blasting my headphones in my ear. So, you need to talk louder for me. But, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> what was I saying? I don't even know what I was talking about. What was I talking about? Hey, man. Looking at this from a newer perspective. You gotta know when to, to, to rumble through things and when to kind of pause and look and kind of get to see it from a different angle but there's a decision you gotta make it's a tough decision 
because you gotta look at it from a, a different angle. Don't just um, do anything off of impulse. You know, people's off days now, they're more agitated in the summer around their off day because it's the summer and they they feel like they missing days so they kind of feel like they want to have they have this expectation of it to be even more spectacular and so they're agitated and they're mad and they hot and they want to be on a go but it's crowded and all the things right they're cranky and mad but the winter time people when it's cooler the spring and shit like that People during their off time, off on their off days, are actually much nicer. But while they are, but while they have their off days, now don't interact with folks on an off day. Interact with them on the days they go to work. I know it sounds as for you think that, you know, but no, don't interact with folks on an off day. When they off, no. And the first day they go back to work, no. But after that, interact with folks. Why they why they in the middle of the work week and not when they getting off when they going in <laughs> I don't call you when they going in <laughs> okay some new shit coming but it's leading towards making that what you need to cut off you know it's a journey to cut things off that's why it's the swords. You gotta start with the Ace of Swords. You're not gonna get to the King of Swords immediately. You gotta start with the Ace and work your way up in the hierarchy. When it comes to cutting something out of your life. Seven of Pentacles. Taking a break. He done did a lot of work. He's tired. He's pausing, you know, whew. It's, it's not even a tired, like, a, oh, I'm so tired, I want to give up. It's just like, whew, shoo. We done did a lot of work today. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? It's kind of like that, that, it's that country man energy. The thing about the country man, he a hustler. The country man hustle different than the, the, than the, the city boy. The city boy's hustle is different. Like, that, that country boy... There's a sturdy hustle to the country boy. You are gonna get a nigga from a trap, don't get you a city trap nigga. <clears throat> don't get a city trap nigga. A New York, a LA, a Cali type of thing, right? Get you a nigga from, from Memphis. I'm fucking Alabama. From fucking Houston. Not a Los Angeles. <laughs> Not a Los Angeles. I mean, dude, I get you a Los Angeles street nigga. You probably don't even fit their description and qualifications any fucking way. I know I don't. Okay. I know I don't. They like they like the real little ones with the little big booty. They like the little short little 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 girls that now in their forties and fifties is gaining weight. But hmm. there's something you're walking up with them, but you gotta be strong. You gotta be wiser. When you're walking away from something you don't really necessarily want to walk away from, but you're not in prison. Like I told you before, I ate a sword, you're not in prison. And I'm wiser. Seven of Pentacles again. You looking at your thing, but you pondering. You're like, dang, I wish I heard it would be finished. Because when I'm done, ooh, I'm going to her. Like, this is what he looking like. 
Look at that knife for me right next to me. Here in that page. That's a page of cups. That's some good stuff. That's some sound emotions. That's some you see in the bright side of things. You got a fish and shit in this cup. I've been dreaming about fishes. I told y'all, didn't I? Did I tell y'all? I had a dream about fishes. Abundance. I was feeding them too. That's the work. Okay. Um you see how he looking? He looking at, he like, dang, like, when I finish this, I'm about to go home. I'm about to take me a hot shower. I'm about to put on, I'm going to get some eucalyptus peppermint, add that shit to the water. My girl, they made me a nice, delicious steak. I'm about to just go put my feet up. I'm about to soak. I'm finna get out. I'm going to hit the blunt. I'm going to play the game a little bit. I'm rubbing my girl, Boogie. I'm gonna put the kids to bed. I'm gonna put her to bed. I'm gonna go to bed. Right? You're thinking about like the resting period after you finish doing the hard labor. But you also looking like, whew, like I, I did a lot. Like I ain't got that much left to cover. I got these three more. My back hurt. I'm tired. We've been out in the sun all day. We've been doing this all day. Like we've been, we've been getting it. We've been getting it. And now I'm about to go and rest after this. Like he pondered, he just looking at what he, what he finna do with it. Right? He can't wait to bring it home to his woman. He's happy. He's fulfilled with what he he what he's doing. You fulfilled with what you've been doing. Cause you looking at you like, all right, like, <laughs> all right, cool, all right, I fucks with it. I see it, okay? It's like doing a workout as a woman. You're like, all right, like, I know we got like, dang, I got three more sets, like, but I did all of that already. We've been working out for an hour already, so boom, right? Or you getting some tracks done in your hair, and you're like, all right, like, she uh, she washed it, she braided me up, all right? She halfway through with the sew in, all right? I see a little bit more, but we think she done got far. Came with some box braids, right? Like, okay, I got half my hair done. I still got the other half to do, but I did a lot. Oh, I can't wait because I'm gonna put these beads on my hair. Like, you, you're not unknown, you know where you at, you know what you're doing. She, you've been doing it, <laughs> you've been doing it, but you just ain't done. And that's it. Your fingers starting to cramp up because of the hard work that you put in so far, but you got more to go. You know, I'm going I'm to toughen it out. I'm going to straighten this out. I'm going to, right? I ain't worried about nobody who's trying to trick me. Because I can't. I got things to do because I got, I got people coming for me. I got to finish this. It's always a trickster somewhere. And that's the one thing that I don't like about living in Los Angeles. You never say from your home city. Here we go. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. But we also grateful and thankful for spirit for keeping, for saving us, for protecting us, for keeping safe and sound and moving when it's time to move. And, you know? Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou is with me, thy rod and thy staff, they shall comfort me. And I shall. What's that? Follow me and do it all of those things. I was thinking about the strength of life. You know what to do. Rely on your instincts and your intuition. And not on your emotions. Don't be coming from a place of hurt. That's what this guy was talking about. Spirits like, don't come from a place of hurt. I was watching Sydney's, so Sydney Castillo, one of my, 
this man is fucking hilarious okay first of all um <laughs> like i will anytime i see him like on the uh, something comedy i'm gonna watch it right so anyways he's fucking hilarious and um and he just got a he just started a podcast and the, the I did watch part one and two and it's so good, but he um hold on. So he was talk he was talking about like this story about this girl that he was dating and how she was acting and then he said my ego. He was like walking out that door was my freedom. It was like the free my freedom was walking out that door. I said, doing what? I said, doing what? <laughs> walking out that door. Your freedom is walking out that door. And I also saw a thing of, um, what's her name, Shekana. Um, She, I just watched an interview of her where she was saying, she was like, when I fight, she was like, I walk away from fights now. She was like, before I beat this bitch ass, she started the fight. I beat her ass, and I had to pay. I got sued. So, she said, now I learned to just call the police. It's not worth it. And the guy, he was like, I just left. He was like, you know, she was fucking my shit up, but he was like, I just left, and I just let it go. I was like, I just let it go. So I told you folks is angry. So Spirit said, don't prove a point. Don't, don't let your ego. Just be the bigger person. Don't let your ego get you in deeper trouble. It ain't worth it. You got too much to lose. You got too much to lose. That's crazy. But at the same time, like, we too old to be fighting. We too old. I'm tired. Like, <laughs> bitch. Too old. I'm tired. Like it, it ain't even been worth it. Whatever you will slick shit she said ain't worth you going to jail and worth you being charged with battery, right? Assaulting somebody that that's uh, mentally ill. Like folks got a lot of, you know, a lot of these folks got a lot of mental illnesses, right? That they claim it, and so you got to be careful because if you put your hands on them. They could be over here, like, talking about, you know, like, I wasn't in my right mind. They did this, da, 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 da. Like, they're lawyers. Like, if they got some lawyers that really ain't is not right in the head and hungry and whatever, whatevs, they could really, these people could really mess your life up. They could really mess your life up. Whatever somebody say to you, just let them say it. You done, girl? Okay. If she get a punch in for you, I 
I know it's hard, but he gotta let them. You could do a little self defense, but just try to protect yourself, protect your face. Sweet, like here, just making sure, make sure you protecting your body. Spirit said, focus more on protecting your body than fighting somebody back. That way, they got a camera and they recording it. And you go to court, you can see, you can take it. Don't let nobody get your face. That way, they throwing punches, they throwing it here. In my face. <laughs> Not my money maker, bitch. <laughs> Not my money maker. <laughs> be, be, be a power ranger. <laughs> like the fans is out, the police is out, and they doubled up. Okay, and they hot. They in all that black. They hot and shit. They they agitated. They eating food that make them sluggish, so they gonna be even more agitated, and they are gonna be even more angry when you keep you trying to get to some situation. Okay, so whatever a bitch say, don't throw no punch. Because you got way more shit to lose than a bruised ego. She gloats that she beat you up. Bitch, I'm about to make some money off of this. And not the way you think. <laughs> not the way you think. I'm not even going to sue you. Don't you sue them. You know, Jesus, if you really want to be in Christianity, Jesus is very much against... Um, suing once again suing so don't go around suing folks if they sue you like I told y'all before if people sue you go in there acting like you got some sense be calm cool and collected answer the questions that you're asked take time to slowly listen to what is being what you're being asked to answer what is being asked not, don't offer nothing else don't embellish just state facts you can repeat facts but if you got to keep making up a story to make it make sense you can't it, you get agitated after a while like, why you ask all these questions but if you tell them the truth it's easy to repeat yourself and stay calm. That's what's gonna happen. But there will be proof. Again, there will be proof for what you have to go through. Know that you need to remain calm. All it takes is a court case to 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 get you your justice. Virgos are meant to be paralegals. Gemini's are meant to be lawyers. Libras are meant to be judges. Please stay to yourself. I told you it's gonna be a to yourself, having fun with yourself. It's a really to be to yourself summer. 
you're not having fear, fear or nothing like that. But you have some, but you do. Don't let it keep you up at night because you're going to make it through some things. But stay to yourself this summer um, just so you can listen. You'll be able to socialize and things like that um, like towards the end of fall. You you know, towards the end of fall, uh, people are more social in the winter time than they are in the summer. So try to chill out. Be to yourself. Go, you know, don't be around argumentative people. Listen. Listen to when you can leave and when you can't leave. When you should go, when you shouldn't go. When you should be here, when you should be there. That's why spirit wants you alone because with the other people, you can't really have that agency to do so because you got to have a full-blown conversation with them about it and then they're going to be like, I still want to go. Da, 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 da. It's, gonna, it's too much. Spirit's like, I just need you to be to yourself so you can listen to your intuition. Our intuitions are very strong right now. The spirits say, don't go on the date. Don't go on the date. The spirits say, um, go on the date. Go on the date. The spirits say, leave that man alone. Don't give him no coochie. Don't give that man no coochie. Don't touch that man boy back. Don't touch that boy back. Get off of this girl's social media. Get off of this girl's social media. Go in the house. Take your headphones off. Take your headphones off. Go home right now. Go. Miss this train. Miss it. Stay here for an extra hour. Stay. You gonna be very obedient this month of cancer. We almost out. It's this energy of wanting to, to, to move and be out and run and escape. Um, but we almost have this energy. These, all these cats are about to die. They're so skinny. Like... October, I think all of them about to end up dead because once I'm like I think I'm the their only source of food. But they're so tiny compared to uh, earlier this year. I would think they would have more food to eat now than they did then, but. I guess springtime is where like all the all the things grow. So you could probably get them like a lemon or an orange. A lot of people have lemon and orange trees and fruit trees and stuff like that. But I don't know if cats be eating that. So. I don't know. What I do? Some alcohol. That's what I do. Yeah, today's my final day. I didn't drink alcohol on Sunday. I'm gonna stay strong. But I want some today. Don't wanna walk to get it. I don't wanna be never wanting to do nothing when I get to LA. I just wanna be out in a bed. That's crazy. Like, why does a city make you do it and be like that? He's so little now, it's crazy. They look tired. <laughs> Bye.